this is Christina Dam, and this is Liberate the Podcast, where we educate, motivate, inspire, and liberate your consciousness. Hello. Hi, stranger. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? So it feels like I'm talking to a close friend, of which you are. Um, and I wanted to, I wanted to take an opportunity during this IG takeover to bring in this beautiful energy, which you are, and you've been such an institution to the Liberate family for such a long time. Oh, um, Mr. Mr. Hi everyone. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> um, I, I remember so fondly, um, when, uh, you know, lockdown hit last March, one of the biggest moments I think for me in really coping with what was going on and the, um, you know, the anxiety and, and the, you know, the tension was really coming to your classes and you, you were one of the first people to really make your offerings online over Zoom. And, you know, I'd loved your classes so much. Saturday mornings, 11 a.m. in Hollywood. Oh. I was always there, whatever I could be. And it was such a beautiful offering for you to make that consistent, um, you know, practice. And you're still doing your Saturday morning classes, which is so awesome. But, um, but yeah, I, I, so let's start with a question. Uh, I want to ask you how... What have you learned about yourself because of your breathwork practice? Whoa, good question. <clears throat> what have I learned about myself from my breathwork practice? <sighs> Where do I start? I mean, I think I've truly learned that I'm not this physical body. Like, it sounds crazy, right? And I'm not all this stuff that I thought I wanted in my life. It just got me really clear on the energy mm. and, and really I, I guess an energetic understanding that uh i'm not you know i'm not the money i'm not the partner i'm not the all this stuff that i think brings me joy and that it's all it's all inside of me so so i really got that that knowing um but i also got that <laughs> i had a lot I had a lot of grief i had a lot of shit that i was carrying that i didn't even know about right um, after years and years and years and years and years of working on myself, I was a bit kind of taken aback at how much I still had. And, you know, that's why I love breath work so much, because it really made me aware of, of uh, very quickly of accessing that and letting it go. So uh, it made me realize that I'm really capable of, of powerful shifts just by mm. doing the breath and, and, you know, not to undermine coaches and healers and all these beautiful people out there, but that you know, everything we have is within us. Yeah. We're able to access it. So, yeah, and I'm still learning, you know? You know, mm. we hit plateaus, and then there's more learning, and then we kind of hit plateaus, and there's always more. Um, right now, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm learning how to just really be okay. Mm. Uh, being okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I, it's so true about that that feeling of kind of – you know, I mean, what's that song that we play in breath work? It goes and comes in waves. And it's oh, so yeah. much about that, isn't it? It's like yeah. you kind of overcome that wave and you're like, yes, I, I've tapped in and I've moved past that thing that was holding me back. And then just around the corner, there's, you know, another thing and another thing. And it's kind of part of evolving and part of expanding. It's like, you know, the work, the work is never really done. But, but as we do it, we kind of really come into our own and you know there's there's a version of our lives where we don't do it right there's a version of our lives where we're just like i'm just gonna stuff all these emotions uh and these traumas down and just hustle and work really hard and yeah. you know and there's a version of our lives that exist like that and this is the real work and this is this is often Ch challenging but also very rewarding at the same time i'm glad you said that though because that really is the illusion that's the illusion i had for so long is i'm just going to get to this place where i'm going to be good you know mm. like almost all the time like every day i'm just going to feel blissful and happy i really believed that and while i do believe we can get better and better and maybe 80 percent of the time we can feel good uh, but yeah like you said there's always there's always stuff isn't there as humans and yeah. I think that realization is actually really liberating 
<laughs> liberate. <laughs> liberate. <laughs> um, because then yeah. it lets us off the hook to like just you know to know there's no no destination. I guess. I hope there's a destination. <laughs> well. <laughs> Tell me there's a destination, Jay. <laughs> Liberation. That's the, it's freedom. Um, I don't know. <laughs> well, I mean, part of, part, of, part of, I think, being a breathwork coach, and I was trained by you, and, and, you know, I'm so grateful for that time that we had together. You really, you know, kick-started something very powerful in me that I didn't even know I had. Um, there was just a kernel in, of interest there. I just, I knew that I had to pursue it, but I didn't know that I actually would be compelled in such a big way. Um, and your, your training did so much of that for me um, in a short period of time. And, you know, I, um, you know, I, I like that. I, I mean, even though it sounds really corny when, when we say that we're all walking each other home, mm -hmm. I feel like part of this practice is really us just, just holding space and allowing, you know, hi guys. Hi, <laughs> hi Travis. Um, <laughs> us holding space and just allowing, you know, our, our clients, the people that we bring into our, into our lives, just to allow them to go on that journey. Cause it really is them doing the work. We're just, we're just kind of there holding space and facilitating and you know what I mean? And there's that aspect of this, of this, of this beautiful role that we have where we are literally holding your hands, uh, walking each other home. Cause we're all going on that same journey, right? Like we're all doing, yeah. You know, we are, yeah. I, I know one of my friends who used to come to the class, he, he's like, I knew from the first class that you were a wounded healer, right? That term. Wounded and I'm like, yeah, i just as fucked up as everybody else, you know? And, and I think, like you said, yeah, it does, we don't have to be fixed to, to be able to help other people. You know, we just need to actually have experience. I think the more, that, the more struggles we've been through, the more we are able to hold space and be compassionate. And yeah. yeah. I think that's the biggest thing I want to leave people with when I do the training and stuff is that you're just, you're just holding space. You're just a catalyst. You know, you don't have to have it all together. You, you know, you don't have to know it all. You just need to hold space. That's what people really, really need. And, you know, obviously some knowledge of whatever trauma and healing and stuff is great, but yeah, that's, that's so yeah. true. We're all in it together. That's for sure. Yeah, for sure. For sure. And, um, and you created these beautiful um, bombs, which I use in my practice. Yeah, you um, to give yeah, a little shout out. I always have them. <laughs> the Tell me, okay, I'm going to be really skeptical right now. Tell me yeah. why they work. Give me the give me the one on one, you know, metaphysical or science response. I want to know why do they work? Well, to be honest, <laughs> I think there's more the energetic response that works. You know, it's it's. I yeah. mean. I did a lot of research around oils, essential oils, you know, and, and crystals, and a lot of things are tied in with each chakra. Yeah. Um, and I, obviously, <laughs> the scientific is, you know, some of these oils are known to kind of help uh, balance and open some of the chakras. But I really think it's more about the intention, and I can't even quite explain what happens, but I've had people like you and many people say, oh, my God, like, I did breath work with, I did breath work without, and when I use them, something happens. I think it's the intention and I'd like to think it's yeah. the love I put into making them since I make them all with Reiki energy and, you know, infuse them with this sort of yeah. energy. Yeah. I'd like to think it's a combination of that and, they, and again, your intention of, okay, I'm going to apply these to open and balance yeah. uh, along with a combination of oils and stuff like that. So uh, there's, no, there's no, I can't give you any science. <laughs> you know, it work. And it, it, I feel like you really do open up those those energy centers, our chakras, by applying them. And you know, I often use the throat one before I'm making a very difficult call, um, like a, yes. a, you know, and it does help. Um, hi, Bella. Hi. Um, Oh, hi guys. Hi everyone. <laughs> if you have any questions, if you have any questions for Jay, um, please pop them in the comments. Um, I gotta tell you, I miss, I miss, miss, miss my Saturday classes in Hollywood. Yeah. You know? I know. That's I know. It. I dream, I dream about those classes. <laughs> yeah, really magical, yeah. really magical space. I'm glad to see Liberate has opened a new, a new space. So hopefully I can come and teach some classes and I'm sure you will as well. And, yeah, in Sherman Oaks. Um, yeah. I, I hear it's beautiful and I can't yeah. wait to see everyone in person and, Oh. certainly get back into you know having that one-on-one -on -one, you know um i i just i just want your reiki hands on my body as i'm breathing 
<laughs> but that's the thing, right? I mean, a lot of us use our hands to heal. And I realize yeah. as much as I'm grateful for Zoom, and I've been doing a lot of Zoom. A lot of Zoom. Uh, it, you know, and it is powerful, but it's not quite the same when I can't place my hands on people. And yeah, there's definitely been missing, you know, missing some of that. I, I do thankfully have clients now and stuff and students in person, but you know, it's still, people are still a little hesitant, but it's, it's opening up now. Yeah, you, for sure, for sure. What, what about you? Are you doing some in-person stuff? Not yet, no, no. Yeah. Um, it's pretty it's pretty quiet in Big Bear, um, where yeah. I am now. But when I come back to LA, which will be very soon, um, definitely we'll, we'll, we'll drop into Sherman Oaks and do some live classes. And I can't wait. Be very yeah. exciting um but yeah and so so jay tell me what's what's net what's next on the horizon like you're obviously you're still doing privates which is fantastic mm -hmm. over zoom um but what's what's what can we all look look out for yeah yeah always doing privates uh i'm doing more in person now i have a teacher training starting this sunday it's a six-week online uh breathwork certification training and I have those ongoing. I'll be doing one in the fall, like one, a four a year now, one every season. And, awesome, uh, yeah. Yeah. And otherwise, you know, just more, more of the same. Sharing breath work in groups, privates, some, some corporate stuff. And yeah, I'm kind of diversifying. You know, we've talked about it too. I've spent yeah. my, all my energy with breath work and healing and it's been awesome um but i'm now like looking at flipping properties and doing some other stuff on this, like getting back like into that. that i don't know the more practical world too which is yeah uh, what i advise for everybody who's in the healing field you know just to make sure you're yeah you're still using your well, this there's something so beautiful and grounded about seeing your vision kind of come to life in a very kind of physical way like uh, creator and manifesting your reality and then also having that ability to really kind of manifest these beautiful you know spaces so i can understand that's it's a very grounding kind of you know path um yeah. vela says intention is so powerful i 100 percent agree with that intention is so powerful and i think with yeah with the chakra bombs um right. having that intention before you go into breath work yeah Bella um, has those bombs with her Healing yoga and sound baths. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, I'll tag you in, in this when I post this, um, Bella, so everyone can go and check out your beautiful sound baths. Um, yeah, does yeah. anyone have any questions about breath work? Mm -hmm. you're, doing, you're doing something around manifestation, right? I am. So to, uh, Wednesday night, I'm doing a manifestation masterclass. So we're going to incorporate, um, I say we, I, I'm a single person. I don't know what I'm talking about. Me and all my, me and all my personalities and all my spirit guides. Um, <laughs> exactly. yeah. So it's going to be, yeah, breath work, uh, obviously, but we're going to add, um, you know, certain tools that I use for manifestation that I've found are really powerful. Right. And I think what I love about breath work, and Jay, I'm sure you agree with me, is we get to a state where our subconscious is so ripe to be reprogrammed, right? Like we take away all the bullshit, I think. Yep. And after breath work, after doing an active breath work session, you are so reprogrammable <laughs> because that. you've taken away like all of that stuff that you've been carrying and, and, you know, I think to really kind of seed into your subconscious mind, which, you know, let's face it, controls 95% of our thoughts and our actions. Um, that's, that's why, that's why breathwork is so powerful. So I'm combining, uh, tools that I use, um, you know, the law of attraction tools using the quantum, the quantum field, uh, which is very kind of Dr. Joe Dispenza. And he talks about that a lot, but yeah. it's really about stuff that I, I have personally, um, you know, had it, have achieved great results with. And, you know, I think breathwork just makes it so much more powerful than than simply writing affirmations or thinking positive thoughts you know well all that's really good it's like this is kind of deep work right um so i'm super excited that's wednesday night wednesday night seven o'clock over zoom um and you guys can sign up anyway ah, but, um, no that's, that's what so you, awesome uh, bella you use them every sound bath uh, oh the chakras the chakra yeah. the um chakra bombs yeah yeah that's awesome that's awesome. Yeah, um, I always bring in, uh, I like to bring in hypnosis and, you know, all sorts of, right, NLP, you can bring in so much after 
uh, breath work because like you said, you're really yeah. an open channel to receive. Uh, I love that. I love that. Yeah. You yeah. I think, I think hypnosis is, is especially powerful um, after breath work. Yeah. Um, and also on that point, what I do love about your practice, which I've kind of adopted because I was your student is your use of Ho'oponopono, yeah. which is a very powerful and ancient forgiveness meditation mantra. And there's something about it that's really quite a, quite amazing when it's combined with um, active breath work. I mean, I think I told you I had a client who literally dropped a 13 year long grudge with somebody <laughs> in one session and wow. came out of breath work and just said, wow, I literally have let go of that grudge. It's like I, the weight I, off my shoulders. Similar stories, you know, somebody who forgave their father after 55 years and like in one session, I've just, I've heard all sorts of stories like that. Yeah, something about the whole Ho'oponopono, what well, really taps you into your own self love and self forgiveness too, which is so important, right? Because we're so hard yeah. on ourselves. As we well, the inner know. child, yeah, doing it with the inner child, I think, is especially powerful because, you know, how often do we get to really even check in and be like, okay, um, you know, I'm going to be tender and kind and and really listen to my inner child, and it, it is a forgiveness meditation but a lot of it's about kind of letting go and going and just acknowledging the past um yeah and i think i think we live in a world where you know we are told not to look back because it's all about moving forwards but at the end of the day we are carrying around you know massive suitcases of baggage from our pasts especially our childhoods and unless we're prepared to kind of look at those moments and really kind of delve into, um, you know, how, how those moments have shaped our, you know, our belief systems, our thought paradigms, because every morning we wake up and we're back into the same kind of, you know, cycle of, of, of you know, how our mind thinks and how we're reacting emotionally. Um, so I've, I've really enjoyed that aspect of it because, you know, I had a very, you know, traumatic childhood, yes. which I never really talked about. I always kind of went, well, that happened, you know, and I only, I will, I only just um, started doing on a personal note, um, you know, um, therapy with um, a cognitive behavioral therapist that specializes in PTSD. Oh, yeah. And I think what's really interesting about my journey through that is that a lot of my childhood um, you know, was, you know, had some really heavy moments, but a lot of it I'm still carrying, you know, a lot of that trauma I'm still carrying. And, you know, uh, um, I think it's called complex PTSD or CPTSD is a really interesting field to look into. Um, and so, yeah, I think acknowledging that anyway, not to go on too much of a tangent. Um, no, no, no. And <laughs> I love that you're doing that. So many therapists yeah. are recommending breath work along with therapy. You know, they're yeah. like, uh, I've had, People come to weekly sessions and they see the therapists and the therapists know my name. I know the therapist's name, you know, because it's a really beautiful thing to, to do together because, you know, you can only talk your way through so much and the, the breath work helps you to really shift the energy of it. So it's a great combination. Yeah. Yes. I, yeah, I a hundred percent agree with you. I, I love talk therapy, but it's not in, in my experience, it's not enough to really get there. You, you know, somatic healing and really embodying, um, you know, what, what you're going through is, is, is extremely healing. And I think with breath work, a lot of stuff just pops up that you didn't know you were holding on to. Like you'll be doing, you know, oh. even like in the session or after, like a few days afterwards, you'd be like, oh, that's why I, that's why I feel this way because of this moment that I have, you know, adopted as reality yeah. um, or, or held on to a sense of shame or, or, or guilt over and I'm carrying this into my adult life and it's like oh I think I'm ready to let that go <laughs> you know yeah, yeah because you, you're able to feel it and sense it it's not like you're talking your way through it yeah you're almost finding it in your body somewhere right and you're getting this aha yeah. moment and you're able to release it um yeah. will, will and I are going to try something on Friday what's we're that kind of breathe and tap into each other's energy maybe we're coming up with a whole new modality Ooh. But, you know uh, yeah, to see if there's any clarity or insight that comes in, or guidance in particular for me. So I'm going to keep you posted on that. 
please do. I'd love to, I'd love to hear more. I'm sure everyone else that's that's joining this live would love to hear um, how that goes. Love you, Will. Yeah. Um, does anyone have any questions? Anyone that's just joined, I'm chatting with uh, Master Breathwork Coach Jay Bradley, who trained me, and I'm so indebted. To You're so good at it, by the way. I <laughs> told you I watched your session. You're like. Oh. You're, you're just awesome. Well, I learn from the best. It flows. It's beautiful. You're in touch. You, you tap in. It's awesome. So thank you for, yeah, thanks for representing. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone have any questions? No. Everyone's no. very shy on, on here. Come I on, know. guys. Ask a question. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, um, thank you so much for, for joining this live and sharing your beautiful wisdom. And if you want, if you don't already follow Jay, um, it's, is it Breathe On It? Oh, I'll tag you in the, in the yeah, caption. Yeah, Breathe On It with Jay, yeah. <clears throat> breathe on, always Breathe On It, guys, always. Breathe On It, and I miss Liberate. <laughs> I miss all the Liberate people. Yeah. I'll see you all again soon. Uh, and yeah, I've moved, as you know, uh, towards the desert. It's really hot. <laughs> Cranking that why. AC? You cranking that AC today? <laughs> oh, I am living with AC. <laughs> oh my God, Bella said she your most <laughs> awkward breathwork moment. Oh. Both of us? Oh God. <clears throat> well, the most awkward was probably when my clients started to talk in tongues. Oh. We talked about this before. <clears throat> wow. It really it definitely uh, took me off guard, you know, and, and after I asked him, oh, do you speak other languages? Because it's like you were talking Latin. And he said, no, no. I was like, okay. And he's like, oh, I, I sometimes talk in tongues. Yeah. Oh. So that was a little, I want, maybe awkward is not the right word, but, um, oh, yeah. Both so this, okay. this was like, in like while, while they were doing at the active breath? Like while they were yes, in, in a private session, he was just spouting all, all these. Uh, it sounded like Latin uh, phrases and stuff. It was really, um, really interesting. I, I've seen it all. I've heard it all. I always say that in the teaching. Wow. Room, but, you know, there's nothing I haven't seen and heard. Um, I remember. Term, I remember in a class once, Jay, like the guy that was next to me, started singing. Do you remember that? Oh God. And that was. It was actually. It was. It was. It was very like because in breath work when you're like on the exhale, you can make whatever sound you want, right? You yeah. can you can release yeah. whatever's, whatever's inside of you if you want to yell, scream, swear. But this guy just like broke into song. And I was like, this is... <laughs> I've had people stand what? up in the class and you know, all sorts of things. Um, <laughs> probably the most awkward was when somebody left halfway. <laughs> oh, they just got up and just went, mm, not for me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what what yeah. was your, have you had an awkward I haven't, I mean, I had a few, I've had a few Zoom malfunctions that have been awkward, um, where the sound would just drop out completely. But I haven't had any kind of major awkward moments. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I, I haven't really, unfortunately. Bella, Bella, I'll come back to you when I have. You'll be the first to know. Um, but, I, but I think it's such a, I mean, I think kind of testament to that, the whole breathwork kind of process is so individual. Like it's such an individual, you know, you, everyone has their own kind of reaction to it. Yeah. Remember the first time I did active breathwork, I was at the den in Los Angeles and I was like, holy cannoli, what is this stuff? And why are people screaming? And what, what have I walked? I thought I walked into a meditation class. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, I, I, I came out of the class feeling like it did something. It tapped into something quite profound and something that I knew that I had to kind of really um, confront. And it was a confrontation because to be honest with you, my first instinct was to not do it again um, because yeah. it, was, it, felt, it felt like it was powerful and that can be really scary. And so I can understand, you know, when I have uh, clients that come into my classes that I don't see for a few weeks, I totally get it because, you know, it is a practice that reveals so much about yourself Oh, it's super How quickly. <laughs> yeah. Um, Will yeah. says uh, Will says he sings and sounds on the exhale. Yeah, I do as well, and I often say uh, "fuck you" a lot. That's <laughs> what I do in my breath work. I think singing is, is lovelier than. You. I've never sworn. I've, I've never sworn. I've never sworn. Maybe one day I'll swear. You're I've never kidding sworn. me. 
No, I don't. I don't like. I. 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 I don't know. But it's funny because I live in the mountains now, where um, no one can hear me. So when we do the yell song, and for those that haven't done a breathwork class before, but we get to it, we build up to a yell portion of the active breathwork, where you really release and really kind of let go of anything that you're holding on to. So when when I get to those parts of you know breath work I really do let loose and it probably sounds like I'm being murdered in my home but I live in the mountains no one can hear me so I, yeah. that's been a, such a beautiful part of being so isolated um same here it's nice to have a house where nobody can hear me now yeah yeah, yeah. but w w Will said I sing I sing um I sing sometimes on the exhale but that's not fair because you're a professional singer <laughs> <laughs> so you probably sound incredible yeah I, I don't I can't sing um we yeah yeah well it doesn't matter that's part <laughs> of it not judging ourselves right not feeling insecure that's, letting... that's absolutely 100 percent it it's like yeah. really letting loose and not judging yourself and allowing what allowing what you what you need to release to really yeah. be released and you know for some like i say shake your hands yeah. like stomp your feet like a lot of that, that somatic um, healing is is in it's in the body. We've got to we've got to trust. Tapping, yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Um, it's about yeah releasing energies that we've got trapped in the body, and we, we you know I think at the end of that, it's it's a lot of surrender, but it's also a great level of freedom. Um, you know, freedom to be who you are in your body, and a lot of us you know, have, we feel uncomfortable in our bodies because we live in a society that kind of shames us and makes us feel like we're not good enough and we're holding on to emotion because we don't have an outlet. We don't have catharsis. And that's why this practice is so powerful. The sounding actually, I see, I work with a lot of women and, you know, it's, it's, uh, they are more challenged overall. You are more challenged with letting out sound, letting out uh, anger, letting out, uh, mm really profound noise and, and expression. I, I think uh, women just, you know, there's something innate around not, you know, I don't know, not like just men, yeah. men are a little more comfortable, you know, letting out. Uh, I mean, there's a whole, there's a whole like subculture movement right now about women and anger and fury and feeling fury. And it's, it's really quite fascinating because as you say, it's been it's been you know hundreds of years of, of su suppressing yeah. Um, yeah not to talk about like the witch wound which is something that's really you know really quite fascinating yeah Bella, um, as women are, are told um, to be we're supposed to be soft and quiet right yeah, yeah. exactly exactly and I remember I remember growing up and being told that I was really bossy <laughs> which you, I am you? <laughs> very bossy that's just who i but but that was something that i was like oh like like that for a woman being bossy is a really bad thing but for a, for a man for a right. suspended man in this in this world that we live in being bossy is being having authority and having confidence and having charisma and being you yeah. know in control and yeah i think you know certainly gender norms really do work against against being being a woman or woman identifying in this in this culture that we live in, which we have mm -hmm. to kind of face. But there's a great level of freedom, as you say, in breath work to just let it out. Yeah. Um, you know? Yeah. I let it all out. Really, really, really do. A lot of my message has been about the, the, the really empowering feminine, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, and that, you know, goes back to like, actually back to basics of like receiving and, and gentleness, still being powerful, but, but, almost more allowing, more trust, more faith, all those beautiful, mm -hmm. I call them feminine qualities, but you know, uh, yeah. uh, uh, that's the way we're operating now. I, even with women, you know, there, there's been so much um, assertive energy in the workplace and you know, the woman boss. And I, I just find even that is shifting. Yeah. We don't need to be that person anymore. You know, we can just trust mm -hmm. and relax and surrender, still take action, but more inspired action and uh, anyway, it's just interesting to see some changes. Yeah, no, 100%, I agree. And it's really, for, for the women that are tuned in or watching the replay, like, look up the witch wound, because it's really interesting, particularly if you're feeling a lot of throat chakra kind of tension. Witch a lot of it can word. be attributed to that kind of generational trauma, and it's really quite fascinating to kind of look into that and be like, oh, okay, well, that's something that I've been carrying, um, you know, into this life and something that I need to work on. But 
I mean, I, I know that I, in my 20s, I constantly felt like I was being strangled because I didn't feel that I could express myself, um, you know, and couldn't quite understand why I had those feelings, like why they crept up. Um, Did we do any energy release work around your throat? I don't think we've done it, but I've seen you do energy release work and it's really quite powerful. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. That would be interesting to do, but... yeah. Yeah, it's really quite powerful. Yeah, I wonder. I think, I think there's something, something to sit in there. I've had to, that. Well, I've had this, like a clamp literally on my throat that I had mm. to release, and I think uh, Will has also had some stuff show up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I love I love the energy releases. Um, you know, dur during breath work too. So special. Um, all right. Well, thank you everyone for tuning in. It's so lovely to see you, Jay. Thank you for yeah. sharing your wisdom. And um, it's been so much fun, guys, on this IG takeover and sending you all much love. And can't wait to see you all in person for classes soon. Bye, everyone. Love you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> if you enjoyed this conversation, like it, subscribe, and share it with your friends. If you want some more amazing resources on your path of liberation, head over to liberateyourself.com and sign up for our mailing list. Connect with us on Facebook, Instagram at Liberate Hollywood, all one word, or Liberate Emporium, all one word. Until next time, liberate yourself. Hi everybody, I'm Christina, founder of Liberate. This is our mascots, Miss Piggy and Mr. Chew. Liberate is like the Willy Wonka chocolate factory for spirituality. You might wonder what the heck that is. And so basically it Liberate is a place of sheer magic, activating and reigniting that magic into you so that you can live your fullest potential and most fulfilled life. When you walk through the door, you're gonna see magic everywhere you look. You look down and you see a crystal floor made with over 10,000 pounds of crystals. You say that's a lot, but I know I laid them and had to do numerous trips to the crystal store to buy more and more crystals. There's all of these beautiful, magical gemstones that are activating and creating healing from the beneath and the surface. You see the tree of life when you first walk in. You go upstairs and every room has its custom sacred geometry mural in it. And then you notice that each of the rooms are labeled with different uh, names of deities or archangels from different traditions and, and religions from all over the world. This is Liberate. Liberate is a space of union. Liberate is a space of creativity. Liberate is a space of expansion. And we're here to help heal you, transform, and help you rediscover yourself.